Mothman TD horse rig uh, and I'm going to go to the animation blog first of all and just find this blog post it's back it's from uh, 2020 27th of January and if you can't find it just type horse rig horse rigs in the search bar there and it just shows some of the um, rigs that we can use uh, for the horse animation tutorial now um, the one I'm recommending the most at the moment is this one, the Horse Rig by Mothman TD, and you can find that one at the Mothman TD website. It's free to download. It's a very nice horse rig. Um, it uh, has no major flaws or weaknesses, and we can do some really nice animation with it. And there's some little tests there. You can see the various people have put together showing what can be done with this rig. So that's the one we're looking at now. Um, so going back to the rig itself, you can see it's all pretty straightforward. Um, the controls that I use the most are the shoulder control there, which allows me to um, animate the shoulders up and down. By the way, you never want this to happen on a horse rig. <laughs> and I'll show you what to do if that does happen. Uh, but you never want the pantomime horse thing to happen. And also the uh, hips, hip control there or the pelvis control. You can also control the tail by rotating it up and down so you can get flexibility on the tail and you've got multiple controllers there so you can copy and paste the curves down the tail then offset those curves and you can get a nice tail wave. Um, you can open um, the horse's mouth here, have him breathe, you can flex the nostrils using these uh, controls here. We want to have select surface objects turned off, by the way. Uh, rookie mistake, so there you go. You can, you can have the horse breathe. You can animate the eyeballs and all that good stuff. Now let's just say that, um, well actually, um, there is another control here which will animate the whole body up and down if I press W, but we don't usually want to use that because usually you want to animate the shoulders and the pelvis separately so you can offset the two because in a walk and also in a, in a gallop you get a kind of rocking motion on the body um, and in a trot both um, the pelvis and the shoulders go up and down at the same time but you're probably going to want to offset that by a frame just to get some flexibility in there. Another really useful control if I select the foot control here is this one here fetlock roll right so um, uh, or is it fetlock something like that? Anyway um, Let's say you've got the, if I, if I select the um, shoulder control there, the chest control, um, you get this awkward bend in the leg, which you would not get with a real horse. That doesn't happen. So, um, I mean, you can solve that problem by either moving that there, but that gets a little bit awkward. But what you can do is select this hoof control here, and then go to fetlock roll, and you can roll that down like that. And now you get rid of that awkward um, uh, bend in the leg. So uh, other than that, the controls are pretty straightforward. It's a really nice little rig. Um, happy animating with the Mothman TD horse rig.